helping me look for Doug, the stuffed dinosaur I want at the fair. Maybe Doug got stuck in the tree. Not in here. He's not here either. Whoa. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Rob. Huh? Any luck, Squeak? Oh, it's no use. We've looked everywhere. I must have left Doug on a planet by mistake. Don't worry, Rob. If we can't find your old toy, we'll win you a brand new one. Yeah. That's a great idea, Emma. Well, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? I lost my toy dinosaur from the fair, and we want to go win a new one. That sounds like a fantastic mission. Let's see where you can go. Yes! That looks amazing! Playground Planet is a lot of fun, but I don't think it'll help us win a stuffed toy. Museum Planet is great for finding out about real dinosaurs, but Rob wants a toy dinosaur. Oh, now that looks like a place where we can win a prize. Yes, the Fun Fair Planet. Terrific choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Orbit, we have to win it. Huh? How do we do that? By playing games. Each game costs one ticket. If you win, we can choose a prize. Ha <laughs> Aha! Perfect. We have enough money for four tickets. That means we have one, two, three, four chances to win. We'll win that toy dinosaur in no time, as long as we work together. Hey, where'd Emma go? Emma, wait! Shouldn't we come up with a plan together? Rob's right. After all, we only have four tickets. If you use one, we'll only have three left. Don't worry! This is a dancing game. There's no way I'll lose. All I have to do is follow the pattern as it lights up on the floor. Ready, set, go. Go, Emma! Go, Emma! You're doing great! This game is too slow! My feet have got to go, go, go! What do you think? We think your dancing is amazing. 
But you got so carried away, you forgot to follow the rules. Oh, no. You mean I lost? Don't worry, Emma. If we work together, we can still win a prize. Whoa! Do you guys smell what I smell? Let's go check it out! Look what I got! Candy apples for everyone! It says here that you can buy four candy apples for one ticket. Totally worth it! But now that you've used up your ticket, you can't play a game. Don't worry, I've got it covered. Don't forget your candy apple! Whoa! Oops! <laughs> Guess this is what they call a sticky situation. Whack a frog is my favorite game. How do you play? When the frogs pop up, you have to knock them back down with the mallet. But you can't miss even one, or you lose. That sounds pretty hard, TK. And we only have two more tickets, which is only two more chances to win the dinosaur. No problem. I'm great at this game. Ready? Hey, the mallet's missing. Oh, no. You can't play without a mallet. Set. What are you going to do? I'm sure I've got something that will do the trick. A hammer! Perfect. <laughs> Phew! Go! Woohoo! Way to go, TK! Uh, almost! Got it! Oh! Uh, 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 Let go! I'm stuck! Mm. Uh, whoa, whoa. Ouch! Ah. Ah. Candy apples got unstuck! Oh, no. I lost my game. Oops. Sorry, TK. Looks like I've got the last ticket and the last chance to win the toy dinosaur. I guess it's up to you, Rob. Uh... All you have to do is ring the bell, and you'll win the game. I can't look. What if we don't win the prize? Come on, Rob. It's all up to you. Ooh. All up to me? You can do it. Come on, Rob. Yay, Rob! <laughs> This hammer is heavy! And all we had to do was work together. I'd say that's a big mission accomplished. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the Fun Fair Planet so we could win a new toy dinosaur. But things didn't go exactly as planned. First, Emma got so excited, she forgot to follow the rules. Then Orbit spent all his tickets on candy apples for everyone. And when TK tried to win a prize playing whack a she got a little... Mm, stuck. Then it was my turn to try, but the hammer was too heavy for just one person. Things worked out when we all worked together to win the prize. That's a wonderful lesson, Rob. Well done. I'd say it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Fun Fair Planet. Everyone, we're playing.
playing crab tag. Come on! In crab tag, you can only move sideways, just like a real crab. Sure you don't want to play, TK? I'm good. I'm reading. Oh! Gotcha, Emma! Huh? You can't catch me! I'm fast! <laughs> oh! Which is why I'm gonna get Orbit instead. Whoa! Hey, where'd he go? Orbit? Crab attack! <laughs> We're playing crab tag, Orbit, not hide and seek. <laughs> I know! I'm being a hermit crab. This is my shell. Ooh! What's a hermit crab? A hermit oh. crab is a type of crab who lives in a shell. Here, I'll show you. The shell protects the crab. As the crab grows, it needs to find a bigger shell to live in. If it can't find a shell, it might use whatever it can find. Like a bottle? Cool! Wow, I'd like to meet a hermit crab. <laughs> Me too! And that sounds like we have a mission! And you know what that means! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet! Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go to a planet where we can meet a hermit crab. Oh, how exciting. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The imagination planet? We want to meet a real crab, not an imaginary one. Arr, maybe. We won't find a crab on the buccaneer planet, unless it's a crabby buccaneer. <laughs> the beach planet! That's the perfect place to find a crab. <laughs> yeah! Yes, the beach planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. often live in tidal pools or sandy shores. I bet I can find one. Not if I find one first! a rock. Oh, oops. Huh? Look, huh? there's a crab. <laughs> hmm. uh. That's a frog orbit. <gasps> Maybe we need to take another look at my e-reader so we'll know what a hermit crab looks like. Hmm. Hermit crabs are orangey gray. Pincers, buggy eyes. I don't know. It could be hard to find one. <gasps> <gasps> Phew, I don't think it's gonna hurt us, whatever it is. 
Simmering circuits? Rob, it's a hermit crab. Huh? It can't be. It's walking forward, not sideways. That's how hermit crabs walk. They're different from other crabs. But where's its shell? Oh, he doesn't have one. He must have outgrown his shell, and now he's a naked hermit crab. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. He's a crabby crab. I'd be crabby too if I didn't have a shell to keep me safe. Maybe we should find him a new one. Great idea, Rob. Hi, crab lord. I'm Rob. These are my friends Emma, TK, and Norbit. We're gonna help you find a new shell, okay? This'll be a piece of cake. As long as it isn't crab cake. <laughs> needs a much bigger shell. Like this one. Woo! Pretty! Phew! And open for business! Check it out! Hmm? This is so cool! The most awesome thing ever! What is it? <gasps> it's a sand dollar! <laughs> I bet Crabwort will like it! Try on. A crab fashion show. I like it. There he is. We brought you some shells, Crabort. Ooh. Ta da! Shell number one. What do you think? It'd make a good home, right? Oh. What's wrong with it? It's the right size, and it's brown, and hard, and. <laughs> what about my shell, Crabwort? Hmm, it's a tad too big. Hmm. You can have my sandal. It might make a nice hat or umbrella. <laughs> Sorry, Orbit. What do you mean? It makes an awesome flying disc. Makes my sparkly shell the best. Oh. Ah. <sighs> what are we gonna do? We've already searched the beach. I think we found all the shells. Hmm. Does it have to be a shell? Can't Crabort use something else? Hmm. Don't worry. There must be something around here that Crabort can use for a shell. Oh. Huh? Huh? Uh. Huh. A coconut shell. It's so coconutty, it just might work. It's the perfect size. But how do we get it open? Crabbert needs to be able to climb inside. Allow me. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> yeah! Think easy peasy. <laughs> I gotta admit, that's crabtastic. help Crabbert find a new home, we made a new friend. I'd say this is one big mission accomplished. Yeah! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the beach planet to meet a hermit crab. Only he was a naked hermit crab. He had outgrown his shell. We decided to search for a shell for crab work, but the shells we found were too big, too small, too flat, or too smelly. Then I spotted a coconut. It turns out a coconut shell makes a great home for a hermit crab like crab work. And then crab work wasn't crabby anymore. He was a happy crab. Well done, everyone. It's time to head home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Beach Planet. Bye, Crab Wars. Bye, everyone. Come on in. We're seeing how big we are. Well, 
guess I'll always be the smallest. What's so bad about being small, TK? Nothing. Except when I can't see around people sitting in front of me, or I can't reach things way up high without climbing on a stool. I just wish sometimes that I was bigger. I want to be at least as big as the rest of you. Hmm. Huh? Maybe there's a place where you can get bigger, TK. You really think so, Orbit? Why not? The robot galaxy is a pretty big place itself. That sounds like we've got a mission. Yeah. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Huh? Huh? Ice planet. Burr. Nope. I want to get big, not cold. Mushroom planet. I don't think anything is big there. That looks like a planet where TK could get bigger. Yes, that's the super-sized planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Ten. Nine. Stop the super sized planet. size. 
Which means not everything on the supersized planet is supersized. Which might mean if small things can grow big, then big things can grow small. Exactly. You really think so, Ruth? Oh no! I sneezed them away! Ooh. Where are we? Uh, uh oh! Huh? More flowers! Don't sniff them! Or they'll turn us into giants too! No, it was a blue flower that made TK big. These are red. It's okay, Orbit. You don't have to be afraid of the flowers. Not the flowers! That! Huh? I don't want little bees. I just don't want a giant bee thinking I'm a flower. We have to get back to Tika and find some way to shrink her back to normal. Where did they go? Don't worry, I'll find you. better. At least not this big. I can't fit in the rocket. I can't find my friends. Wait, my tummy trunk. I must have something to help me find them. Uh... Oh, there's no way to get over those giant spikes. Do you hear something? Hmm. Huh? That giant soccer ball come from? TK's tummy trunk. you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the super-sized planet so TK could get bigger. We learned you can do some pretty neat things when you're big, but it also means you might not be able to do other things. But most of all, we learn that big or small, it's always best to just be yourself. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, super size. You're just in time for breakfast. 
Was that your tummy, Emma? <laughs> yeah. I'm always hungry after my morning exercises. What'll it be? Toast and jam, oatmeal, or my famous scrambled space eggs? Ooh, scrambled space eggs, please. Hmm. Uh, I hate to break this to everyone, but I was just in the kitchen. We're out of eggs. No eggs? Really? Ooh, maybe we can get some more. I like that idea. So does my tummy. Well, that sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to get some eggs so we can make breakfast. Rob's famous scrambled space eggs breakfast. That sounds like an excellent mission. Let's see where you can go. Hey, it's the math planet. I like to count, but it doesn't add up to a solution to our problem. We won't find any eggs there. The camping planet. Not really the place to find eggs, either. Hmm. The farm planet. I bet we can find eggs there. Farm fresh eggs. Yes, the farm planet. An egg choice. Get ready for countdown. chickens, there are sure to be eggs. Hmm. Hey, ho! Uh -huh. I'm Farmer Fred, and who might you be? Hi, I'm Rob, and these are my friends, TK, Orbit, and Emma. Hey there. Hello. Hi. Mighty nice to meet y'all. Who would preach you to my farm planet? We're on a mission to find farm fresh eggs. Well, you've come to the right place. Only I haven't had time to do the morning egg collecting yet. Hmm. I've been so busy fixing this old tractor, I haven't had a chance to do my other chores. You see, if you folks help me by collecting the eggs, I'll give you as many as you need. How does that sound? Yeah! yeah! That sounds like a great deal, Farmer Fred. You've all done farm work before, right? No, but it's okay. I bet we'll be done before you know it. Won't we, guys? Right! Yeah! yeah! I should warn you, sometimes a simple sounding job can be tough if you haven't done it before. So if you need help... We can do it! Okay then, the eggs are in that chicken coop. Let's get cracking! <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me they'll be back. Look out, eggs! Here come the great egg collector! <gasps> Chickens escaped. I better go get help from Farmer Fred. But we let them escape, so we should get them back again. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's go round up those chickens.
come to orbit. <gasps> ah! Uh-oh. Orbit, what did you do? It wasn't me. The cow did it. That's not a cow, Orbit. That's a bull. Okay, but now, before we can collect the eggs or catch the chickens, we need to fix the fence. The bull knocked over. You and TK go after the chickens, and Orbit and I will get this fence fixed. Hmm. You know, huh? I might be better at fence fixing than chicken catching. Let me see if I've got something in my tummy trunk that can help. Um, TK, don't move. I don't think he likes the color red, TK. And you're red all over. Uh-oh. Ah! No, come back. Come back. <gasps> she didn't really mean it. Oh. I guess he doesn't like pink either. Yeah, now we have to collect the eggs, catch the chickens, fix the fence, and stop that crazy cow. It's a bull, Orbit. Hey, what happened to Rob? Grumpy, you just need to know how to talk to him. <laughs> Looks like you could use a little help. Maybe more than a little. Yeah, turns out farm work is harder than we thought. Well, there's nothing wrong with accepting a little help when you need it. Like, I sure could use some help fixing that old tractor. <gasps> TK at your service. All the eggs, Farmer Fred. <laughs> my pleasure. I couldn't have fixed my tractor without asking you for help. I'm much obliged. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Farmer Fred. While he was busy working on his tractor, he agreed to let us collect some eggs. Only the chickens got loose, and then we broke a fence. And then we got chased by a robo bull. But we also learned that it's okay to ask for help and to accept it when someone offers it. Farmer Fred helped us, and we helped him. Well done. What an egg-citing mission. As soon as we're back in space, you can cook up some of those farm fresh eggs. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Farmer Fred. Goodbye, Farm Planet. 
Looking for some fair play, hmm? Okay, let's see where you can go. The horse planet? We want to ride roller coasters, not horses. Garden planet? The only thing to ride there are tractors. The fair planet! That's perfect! Yes, the fair planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
have to make snacks back on the rocket, TK. We need to keep some tickets for rides, remember? Come on! <laughs> Mm, I remember. How high do you think it goes? Oh, I hope it goes all the way up to the clouds. No, higher than the clouds. Higher than the clouds? Hey, we almost walked right by the teacup ride. Mm -hmm. Pretty please with nuts and bolts on top? Let's ride it now. Well, okay. Teacup, TK. Oh, well, then maybe we could uh, play the hammer game again or have another snack. Is everything okay, TK? Oh, everything's great. I'm fine. Off to the elevator ride. <laughs> <sighs> Wait, I'm scared. Scared? Well, why didn't you say so? You don't have to ride it if you don't want to, TK. We understand. Really? Phew. Okay, then. Um, what are we waiting for? I want to go straight to the top! You got it. Here you go. One, two, three, four, five! Wow! It's amazing up here! Hey, look! There's our rocket! <laughs> they sure sound like they're having fun up there. Whee! It's your turn, Rob. I'll work the controls. You two ready? Wait, I think I'd like to try. Really? As long as we go up slowly, okay? Of course! You're gonna love it. I'll hold your hand if you want, and we can come down whenever you want to. Okay, thanks. Ready? Here we go. This isn't so bad. Level two, please. This is fun. Higher, please. It's okay to be scared. Do you want to go down now? No. I just need a second. Hey, look! There's the snack shop! Oh, yeah! And there's the teacup ride! Higher, please, Emma! <sighs> it's so pretty up here. A little higher, please! TK, we can't go any higher. We're at the top. We are? That means... I did it! I really did it! Yay, Yay TK! Wee! Wee! <laughs> that was a blast! It wasn't nearly as scary as I thought it would be. I guess I just needed to try it. Yeah! You did great, TK! What an awesome ride! I'd say this is one big mission accomplished! <laughs> Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> well, today we visited the Fair Planet. Orbit, Emma, and I were excited to ride the elevator, but TK was scared. It took her a while to admit it, but she finally told us. When TK saw how much fun it was, she decided to give the ride a try. She found that by going slowly and taking things step by step... The ride wasn't scary at all. It was fun. I'm glad I gave it a try. With the help of my friends. 
Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Long before there were people on Earth, there lived giant reptiles called dinosaurs. Ooh. And the most terrible-tempered dinosaur of all was the Tyrannosaurus Rex. He was one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs that ever lived. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus Rex stood about 20 feet tall. That's almost as tall as the rocket. And he could eat up to 500 pounds of meat in one bite. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Squeak. Wow, dinosaurs sound scary. I think they sound cool. Where do they live? Dinosaurs no longer exist. They've been extinct for 65 million years. Extinct? <laughs> extinct, Orvid. Extinct means they're no longer alive. Mm. The only thing left of the dinosaurs are old fossils and bones. Ah. Mm. Hey, maybe we could find a place that collects fossils and dinosaur bones. How cool would that be? Yes, a dinosaur exhibit. And that sounds like we have ourselves a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? We want to find a dinosaur exhibit, but we're not certain where to look. Oh, that's a tricky one. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, race planet. <laughs> I love racing. Racing is a lot of fun, TK, but I don't think we'd find dinosaurs on that planet. Oh, I love the theater. We could put on a play. That would be a great place if we wanted to dress up like a dinosaur, but I don't think we'll find any bones there, Emma. Oh, what about this planet? It looks like it might be a good place. You chose the museum planet. Museums carry all sorts of ancient bones and marvelous wonders. Excellent choice. Okay then, get ready for countdown. Orbit, we 
we can have fun putting it back together. Just think, a life-size dinosaur puzzle. Something. Hmm. Greasy gears, you're right. Where's his other arm? Hey, there's something slimy here on the floor. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Ooh, yuck! There's wet, slimy stuff everywhere. Look, the trail leads in here. and parchment. That's what people used to write with before pens were invented. They dip the quill in that bottle of ink and write on the parchment. Parchment is like paper we use today, but really, really rough. Cool! There's more drooly slime over here. Hmm. And a helmet is missing. Huh? What could make such a mess? We're the only ones here. <laughs> hey, where'd my toy go? <laughs> oh, catapults! Knights used them in ancient times to throw things at castles, like spears and rock. I like to rock. you learn in your mission? <laughs> well, we learned that dinosaurs lived long before they were people, but have been extinct now for over 65 million years. But you can still see exhibits of dinosaur bones and fossils in museums, so that's where we went. We found an awesome display of a Tyrannosaurus rex, but there was a problem. He was missing the bone that formed his arm. We discovered a robot dog had taken the dinosaur bone and a bunch of other stuff, including my toy. 
poor little guy. He just needed his own toy to play with. We finally put the missing bone back in its place and made a fun new friend. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Doggy! Goodbye, Museum Planet! That was the best movie ever! Yes! Remember when Bolt Boy lifted up the car with his super strength to protect his friends from that meteor shower? Yeah, that was so cool! And then he used his super speed to rescue that space monkey. That was so totally awesome! Hey, maybe there's some place where we can go to get superpowers. You mean we can have superpowers just like Bolt Boy? Yeah, I bet we could. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can have superpowers for the day. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. The Windy Planet? Well, that's a great place to find wind power, but not superpowers. The Toolbox Planet. It has power tools, yes. Superpowers, no. The superpower planet? That's super perfect! Yes, the superpower planet. A wonderful choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the superpower planet. Woohoo! Superpowers, here I come. Are we in the right place? Hmm. This is the superpower planet, right? It doesn't look very super. What's with the phone booth? Maybe we're supposed to call someone to find out where the real superhero planet is. <laughs> Rob! <gasps> Whoa! It's a telephone teleporter! Just like Bolt Boy uses! Oh, right! Well, what are we waiting for? Flying. 
Uh-oh. Help! Don't worry, I've got you. Yes. Looks like you've got super duper strong power. Totally. Yay! I bet I have a really awesome superpower, too. So what is it? What did you get? Are you a super twirler like me? Uh, maybe you've got super fly in the sky power like me. Yeah, super fly in the sky power. Well, <laughs> I guess not. Then you must have super duper strong power like me. Yeah, super, super strong power. <sighs> I don't have it. <sighs> I don't get it. I don't have any of the powers that you guys have. I'm confused. Mystified, even. <gasps> Maybe I don't have any superpower at all. But how can that be? We all got superpowers as soon as we went through the telephone booth. Maybe it's some sort of planetary malfunction. You know, things went awry. A mess, a field, a stray. Orbit? What are you saying? I'm saying there's a 65.4% chance that the atmospheric conditions here, combined with my molecular structure, resulted in the non-existence of extraordinary powers. Huh? Oh no! I know what happened! Big words, scientific theories, I've got... <gasps> Super smarty pants power! No! I mean, yes, that's correct. Accurate. Right even. Oh. Superpowers rule! <sighs> sure, except I got stuck with a boring, tiresome, irksome power. Come on, Orbit, cheer up! Ah! Oops, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but look at all the fun, smart stuff you can do! I suppose, but it's not as entertaining as flying, or spinning, or elevating massive boulders with one hand. Well, we could do something else for a while. Um, you could teach us some math equations. Good idea. Uh, that'll be uh, just as much fun as using our superpowers. Whoa, coming through! <laughs> Don't worry, I'm okay. But it appears the computer is not. Superhero security alarm activated. Uh oh. TK's unfortunate collision with the computer has caused it to malfunction, thereby trapping us. Trap? Ha! We can't be trapped. We're superheroes, remember? <laughs> right. I'll just use my super fly in the sky power. Ouchie, that didn't work. Not a problem. With my super twisty twirly power, getting out of here should be a breeze. Oh, sorry. Oh, I guess I can't spin through walls. They're too strong. This sounds like a job for Super Rob. Those walls aren't stronger than I am. <sighs> Why won't you open? Ugh. Oh, getting out of here is going to be harder than we thought. None of our powers are helping. What are we going to do? Mm. Uh, Orbit, what are you doing? This appears to be a memory puzzle. I just need to match the icon, or picture, with its corresponding icon. Observe. Oh, it's like a matching game. Smart thinking, Orbit. Thanks, but I'll need to quicken my maneuvers. Notice the timer. <gasps> There's not much time left. Uh, oh no, that wasn't a match. No, but it'll allow me to do this. A match! Way to go, Orbit. A mask. So therefore, this icon should be a lightning bolt. Now my solution should authorize the walls to retract or receive. Superhero security alarm deactivated. Hey, you did it! You're a hero, Orbit, just like Bolt Boy. You saved the day! Yes! Very astute of you, Rob. You're right. I did save the day. I came to the rescue with my super smarty pants power. I guess brain power turned out to be the best power of all. 
And that means this is one super smart mission accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> We went to the superpower planet, where we all got superpowers for the day. Orbit got super smarty pants power, only he didn't think that was very super. But when we got trapped, it was Orbit smarty pants power that saved the day. He showed us that super smarts are super cool. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three. Just in time, TK is teaching us about the moon. Even though you can't see the sun at night, the moon glows because of the sun's rays. But during a lunar eclipse... Uh, ahem? Yes, Emma? Lunar eclipse? I thought we were learning about the moon. We are. Lunar is another word for moon. During a lunar eclipse, the sun moves all the way behind the Earth, blocking the sun's rays completely. That's why an eclipse moon looks so dark. Ooh! <laughs> like this dark? <gasps> ah! Orbit! Turn the lights back on! Oh. I can't! I can't find the switch! It's too dark in here! Someplace where we can see a lunar eclipse. Oh, I've always wanted to see the dark side of the moon. Let's see where you can go. The cheese planet? The moon kind of looks like a giant piece of cheese, but it's less stinky. Ooh. The astronomy planet? That's a good place to watch a lunar eclipse from far away, but we want to see one up close. That's not a planet. That's the robot moon. We can't get any closer than that. Yay! <laughs> yes, the robot moon. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Robot mood would be this bright. 
Ooh, it's like a giant night light in the sky. This isn't so bad. It's not dark at all. Good point, Emma. We came here to see a lunar eclipse. How do we make it do that? Hmm. I think I know. Uh -huh. Check this out. These buttons must control the robot moon. Ooh. Can I try yeah. that? Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. Aha. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh -huh. hmm. Like on the moon, you can Whee! float around. <laughs> Orbit must have hit the no gravity button. Remember, <laughs> this is the robot moon. We can make it do anything. <laughs> that was so much fun. Much better than playing in the dark. Let's see what else the robot moon can do. Oh! oh. <laughs> Cows jumping over the moon! Ah, oh, this is awesome! Hmm. Ooh. Huh? That's funny. I think one of the stars is missing. <laughs> Maybe that one was a shooting star. <laughs> and let's try another. <gasps> we ah! hit the sun! It's a lunar eclipse! We did it! Mm -hmm. Rob, no. It's too dark. I can't see anything. It's okay, Emma. There's nothing to be afraid of. But I don't like it. <laughs> Where's the on button? Ah! Ah! Sorry. Ah! 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 Uh, What's that noise? Yeah. It's a star. He seems really upset about something. It's okay, little star. You don't have to be afraid. You're with friends. Oh. Oh, no. Whoa, he's a speedy little guy. Oh, that poor little star. I don't think he likes the dark either. He should be up in the starry sky. But how do we help him? He's too fast to catch. Maybe if we turn off the sun again, he might come back to turn it on. Eclipse the moon again? <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -hmm. It's okay, Emma. There's nothing to be afraid of. We're right here beside you. Here. You can even be in charge of pressing the button. Mm -hmm. On the count of three, okay? Okay. I'll do it for the little star. One, two, three! Ha! <laughs> oh, it's okay. We just want to help. Good little star. You're with friends. You don't have to be afraid. <laughs> Great job, Emma! I knew you could do it! We were right. The dark isn't so scary when I know my friends are close. But what are we going to do about this little guy? I get it. He's the missing star! But how are we going to get him back up there? I can help with that. get back to our mission, enjoying the lunar eclipse. Uh, are you sure, Emma? Of course. With my friends and our little star watching over me, what's there to be afraid of? That's 
the spirit, Emma. And I'd say this is another big mission accomplished. Yeah! <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? wanted to see a lunar eclipse, so we went to the robot moon to see one up close. Lunar is another word for moon, and when a lunar eclipse happens, the moon becomes very dark. But we didn't realize how much the dark bothered Emma, and it turned out she wasn't the only one afraid of the dark. Having her friends near and turning off the lights on her own gave Emma the courage to deal with her fear, and in turn, we were able to help the little star. Well done! I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, little star! Goodbye, robot moon! Hi, everyone! You're just in time! We're playing a game of space blocks. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Careful, Rob. Uh. Oh. Huh? Hmm. What? Yeah! All right. Good going, Rob. Thanks, TK. Huh. Our turn. Your go, Orbit. The game is to leave the tower standing, right? Really? Where's the fun in that? <laughs> <laughs> Building towers is tons of fun. I'd love to build a life-size tower with super giant building blocks. Oh, me too. That does sound kind of cool. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Somewhere we can build a life size tower with giant building blocks. That sounds like a fun mission. Let's see where you can go. Sport Planet! A great place to find starting blocks, but we need building blocks. Origami Planet! <laughs> Perfect for building paper airplanes, but not for wooden towers. Whoa! That place looks terrific! <laughs> yes, the building block planet. Great choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Let's 
try it out. Er, a castle? Huh? Maybe we should try something a little easier. What about this? Perfect! We can build this thing in no time. And the sooner we finish building it, the sooner we can knock it down. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Orbit, the goal is build something you can't knock down. Huh? Hey, I have an idea. Let's split into teams and see who can build their tower the fastest. And the strongest. Yeah! TK's on my team. I'm with Orbit. Woohoo! Yay! Let's do it! Right. Ready? Steady? Build! Oh, oh, oh. Ow! Ow! Hmm. All the red ones are square shaped. And those orange ones all look like the letter L. Let's sort the blocks into different colors first. That way we can easily work out which ones to use for the foundation. Uh, the what nation? <laughs> foundation, Rob. Foundations are built at the bottom and keep a building strong and safe. A strong foundation stops it from falling over. I get it, just like our space blocks game. Mm -hmm. This will be the best tower ever! This is so easy, Emma. Look, we are way ahead of Rob and TK. We'll have our tower finished before they've even placed the first block. <laughs> ah! Hmm. Ah. Oh, whoopsie. I may have been a bit too fast there. <laughs> no problem. We still have plenty of time to build another. Only this time, we need to build even faster. <laughs> this foundation looks great. What's next? According to the picture, the next pieces are the blue blocks. Roger that. Blue blocks coming up. Sure, are slow builders. Why are they taking so long? Not again. No. <gasps> okay, one more try orbit. Only this time, we need to build at super speed. Super speed, my specialty. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah. We're nearly there. We're at the final stage. According to the picture, there should only be two green blocks left. Triangle shape, right? Correct. Ten were finished. Woohoo! I wonder how Emma and Orbit are getting on. Hopeless. Every time we get close to the top, the tower falls over. Maybe we are not built to build towers. Hmm. Hey, you guys, don't give up. You can still do it. All it takes is a little patience and some help. The picture gives clues on what pieces go where. <gasps> the picture! Gosh, we got so caught up in the race, we forgot all about following the instructions. Hey. Why don't we all help build the tower together? We'll have this up before you can say Bolt Boy! Bolt Boy! <laughs> <laughs> like an upside-down letter U. Knocking them 
over. <laughs> I guess that's one towering mission accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? To the building block planet so we could build ourselves a life-size tower. TK and I learned it's best to organize things before building. But Emma and Orbit weren't so organized. They decided it was better to build super fast. And each time they rushed, their tower toppled over before they could finish. We learned that if you're careful and follow the instructions, you can build almost anything. Well done! I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Building Block Planet! Ooh, your cousin sure looks like she's having fun. She found a painted egg. Yeah! That must be an excellent way to spend an afternoon. <laughs> it is. I wish we could go egg hunting. Well, why don't we? There must be some place in the galaxy to have a good egg hunt. Yeah! That sounds like we have a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can hunt for eggs. An egg hunt? That sounds like a cracking good idea. Let's see where you can go. Golf planet? That's a great place to find golf balls, but not eggs. Oh. Origami planet? Who's ever heard of an origami egg? Not me. Yes, the egg planet. An excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. I accidentally knocked over a big basket of eggs, and six of them rolled away. I need to find all of them right now. We can help you. How hard can it be to find six eggs? Yeah, that's why we came to the egg planet, to have an egg hunt. 
Really? You'll help? Okay, but I warn you, it's not all it's cracked up to be. The eggs can be hard to find and catch. Ah, there's one now. Oh, gotcha. oh you come back here. Ah, there you go. Safe and sound. You did it. You caught the egg. One down. Five more to go. Yoo-hoo! Little lost eggs! Shh! I hear something. Huh? is harder than it looks. We can do this. Ready? One, two, three! Oh, oh. Hey! Oh, oh. I did it! Look, I got it! Great! See? That was easy peasy. Oh. Wow! Check out all these flowers! They're pretty, but we don't have time to waste, Orbit. We've got... <laughs> a hmm? Eggs to find. Besides, these flowers are making me sneeze. Hmm. Oh. It sounds like you're getting a cold, Emma. That wasn't me who sneezed. Well, if it wasn't you, then... Who? Oh, look! An egg! I found an egg! No way! I... You can't egg-scape Orbit! The Egg Hunter! Ha ha! I think we've got him, Orbit! <laughs> Orbit, are you okay? I'm okay, but the egg got away. Ooh, those eggs sure are sneaky. see any eggs anywhere. Boy, they sure are good at hiding. We found two. That means we need to find four more eggs. But where could they be? Hmm. <laughs> we're in luck. Follow us. <laughs> All that running around must have tuckered them out. It's time for their egg nap. And look, they're fast asleep. Oh, they're so cute. If we're extra quiet, it should be easy to gather them up now. Mr. Egg Warden. We need to sort the eggs into their special homes. The purple egg goes in the purple home. The blue egg goes in the blue. <laughs> the yellow egg goes... I know! In the yellow home. I guess the pink egg goes here. What do we do with this green one? One! There's only one green egg. There's supposed to be two. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We're missing an egg. A green egg. Wait! I forgot. I put it in here for safekeeping. But why is it making that noise? <gasps> uh 
Uh-oh. Oh, no! It broke! Ooh. Wow! A baby chick! How feathery. How cute! So this <laughs> isn't just an egg sorting station. It's an egg nursery. Yes, and thanks to all of you, these eggs will hatch into baby chicks. But I hope they weren't too much trouble for you. Are you kidding? That was the most excellent egg hunt ever! This is one big mission accomplished! Yay! <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Today we went to the Egg Planet, where we met the Egg Warden. He needed help finding and sorting some lost eggs. So we went on an egg hunt. It was hard work, but we eventually rounded up and sorted all of the eggs. Even the one hiding in TK's tummy trunk. We got to watch the eggs hatch into baby chicks. It was egg extraordinary. Wonderful. Mission accomplished. Now I think it's time to go home. Now buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Egg Planet! Hello, everyone. It's been raining for hours. Oops. We're trying to cheer up with a game of catch. Wow, this rainy weather is really getting us all down. We need to go somewhere it's not raining. Somewhere we can play and build things. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Somewhere it's not raining, so we can cheer up and play and build stuff. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Water planet. <laughs> but water planet is still wet, and I think we've had enough water with all this rain. Squeak would like to go to Cheese Planet. Mmm, sounds tasty, but it might be a little stinky. I don't think Cheese Planet is where we need to go. What about this planet? It has cold places and warm places. Oh, look. There's a desert there. Hooray! I like dessert. Not dessert. Desert. A dessert is something you eat. A desert is a place where it almost never rains. You chose weather planet. Great idea. Hooray! Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Build an awesome sand castle. 
here. Emma, this isn't anything like a tasty dessert. It might not be rainy, <laughs> but the desert is way too hot. Something that can help. Hmm. It's too warm to dance. The xylophone won't help. A hammer's a great tool, but not the right one for this job. A fan! It looks too warm. There are other parts of the weather planet we could visit. We could fly the rocket somewhere the weather is cooler. Cooler. Good. Much better. Not hot at all. to walk on. are also a kind of frozen water, and every one of them is slightly different. Cool. No, cold. <laughs> it is cold. <laughs> Too cold. Don't you think? Rob! Rob, it's too cold. The rocket can't even move. Oh, no! How can we warm him up? Well, I wasn't cold when I was skating. And we weren't cold when we were playing. We need to move to get warm. And I know just what to do. Great idea, Rob. Moving around will definitely warm us up, but we've got to get the rocket moving as well. Just keep dancing. Come on, Rocket. You can do it, too. Not too hot, 
and not too cold. I know. Follow me. This is great. The perfect place to play. And build. And it's not raining here either. We had the perfect place to play all along. <laughs> <laughs> Not too warm and not too cool. Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? find a place to go that would cheer us up. Somewhere it wasn't raining where we could play. We learned that a desert isn't something sweet to eat. That's a dessert. A desert is a place that almost never rains, but the one we found was way too hot to play in. So we went to another part of the weather planet where it was snowing. There we learned that when it's really cold, water freezes. It turns into ice and even snowflakes. But there, it was so cold that the rocket couldn't move. We decided to dance and move around in order to get warm again. We finally picked a place that was just right, back inside. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, 